we have a wonderful feature in Bet Angel called Guardian, and you can access Guardian from just clicking up here. And the reason I'm showing you in this video is because we are constantly making enhancements to it, especially to the automation function. And uh, you may not be aware of some of those, so I'll demonstrate a new one of those new features to you. Click on G for Guardian, up pops a load of markets. If you want to work out how to use all of the other features such as Excel, the multi-market functionality searching, watch lists and other stuff, there are videos on that, but I'm just going to focus on the automation. Automation allows you to place bets and trade automatically even if you're on another market. Um, so it allows you to do quite a, a range of, of things. Um, but on this example we're going to just narrow in and focus on one particular aspect of it and to bring up an automation we need to create a rule. A, a rule. So if I click on a market here, we're going to click on the market at Chipstow, create a new rule for the market and I'll just talk you through the automation and some of the new functionality that you may not have seen. Um, first of all we've got to call it a rule name so I'm going to call this equal payout runner1, you'll see why in a second. All of your rule types you select from here, you can see these are all of the rule types. A couple of recent ones we put in was play a sound alert, so you can nominate it to play a sound given something that happens, fix the order of the markets, those are new features. On this occasion we're just going to place a back bet. I'm going to place it 10 seconds before the off. If I'm going too fast for you, there are loads of other videos on using automation that are in, in more depth. Um, I just want to show you a couple of, of new things on here. Um, we now apply a parameter to that bet, so we're placing a black, a, a black, a back bet 10 seconds before the off. And what I'm going to say is I want to place this at the best market price. And the staking, we've added another feature into the staking here. So we can go for a fixed amount, uh, let's say £10. We can go by liability, we can go by book percentage. Um, it's alright, the uh, bet has just switched to the next market to remind me that it's coming up. Um, so yeah, we can go by fixed amount, liability, book percent, percentage of book, by liability, percentage of balance. <clears throat> and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use book percentage because this is a new uh, facility that we have. What this actually does is if it's got something that's priced at twos, it will go into the market and place a bet at one divided by two. 50%, so it will place 50% of the bet on that market. And the reason that you'd want to do that is because you'll get a, a, an equal payout. I'll show you this in a second. Now we can apply loads of conditions to it. If I click on New, these are all the condition types that you can apply to the bet that you're about to place. And you can see we've added in things here like volume condition, stall draw, fill or kill, bet time condition. These are all new conditions that we've added in there. But for this bet I'm not going to do that at all just wanted to show you those. So I'm going to apply that bet. You can see it appears up here. And now I'm going to create runner2. Um, and what I'm going to do down here is it applies to selection number 2. And uh, apply that bet. Oops, in fact I've just accidentally overwritten <laughs> the other rule. That wasn't very clever was it? So what I'm going to do is add another rule here. Equal payout runner 1. We'll just repeat the process again. Parameters, best market price, percentage of book, £10. There we go. And we'll name that rule equal payout. And what I'm going to do is apply it um, to this market so if we sit here and um, watch this, in fact we won't because it's going to take a couple of minutes for that bet to trigger because we're triggering it at 10 seconds before the off. I'm going to pause the video now and you'll see what will happen in a second. So the market's been turned in play now and um, it's placed our bet 10 seconds before the off, before the scheduled off. 17.30 was the uh, scheduled time. I was busy trading on another market so I didn't see it. But can you see what it's done on the P&L here? Um, £6.68 positive on the front two and negative 3.30 on the remainder of the field. And the way that it's done there, you can see there's the confirmation that it placed the bet 10 seconds before the off. Uh, what it's done is it's put £10 into the market and it said, well, it's priced at 5.9. What's the implied chance? What's the book percentage of that runner across the entire field? And that was 16.9%, so it placed an order for £1.69. 
6.2 was 16.1, so it placed an order for um, £1.61. But the essence of what placing a back bet by book percentage does is it equalises the payout on the runners that you, uh, you, you place this bet on. So it's actually quite a good way of managing a risk because you're limiting your liability but you're spreading the profit across two runners. So you could say, okay, what I'm going to do at this course today is I'm going to place a back bet on the front two runners or the front three or the front four, whatever you want, with a liability of £10 and then whichever one of those wins you will get um, th the same profit. So it allows you to place a back bet across a number of runners to gain a profit if any of those win and at the same time it limits your liability. So that's a, quite a neat way of um, of placing a bet and it's a new feature that we've added uh, to the automation. And if I wanted to I could now apply that to all of the markets that I wanted to trade over the rest of the day. Um, that would be very easy. So I just go equal payout, apply rules to all markets and then you can see that that would do that continuously throughout the rest of the day. But the automation is a really powerful feature. Um, there's lots of interesting things that you can play around with in there so I recommend that you fire it up, preferably in practice mode to start with, and, and have a play.